Hi everyone, this is Sylvia Duckworth and it's a quick tutorial on how to use Soundtrap to create a track to add to your Google site. Um, so I'm on Soundtrap.com and I'm logged in already. If it's your first time using Soundtrap, just go ahead and give it all permissions. Use your Google sign-in. And I'm going to enter the studio. It's going to take a couple minutes to load up. It's going to ask you to choose a template. Uh, I'm just going to go with blank. For now and the first thing you have to do is you have to click on add new track and then click on voice and microphones so uh, a quick tip here the reverb is usually too loud so just take your mouse and just drag it down until the reverb is really as far as you can get it okay so that's good I'm going to click on start recording and I'm using headphones so it's recording now, so I'm going to go back to my site and read it out loud. Welcome to Toronto. I love my city for many reasons, mostly because it's beautiful, friendly, cosmopolitan, culturally diverse, and multi-ethnic. I'll just stop it there. Okay, I'm going to turn off this item here, the red R because I'm done recording the soundtrack, but let's just listen to it. Okay, so I'm gonna edit the beginning of it because I don't need that. So let's just bring this, the playhead back. Nope, I wanna edit it a bit more. And then I'm gonna bring it over here, bring the playhead back and listen to it. I'm going to stop it there and you, to start and stop uh, your playhead you're going to use the space bar. All right, it's, there's still quite a bit of reverb but there's nothing I can do about that. The reverb is, is down as low as it can go so I'm just going to have to live with that. So now I'm going to add a track beneath. I'm going to add a music track and I like to get my music from uh, YouTube Audio Library. So take a look at the URL there, youtube.com slash audio library slash music. And you can filter for different genres of music. You can filter for the mood, the instrument, the duration. And I'm just going to go with jazz and blues. Duration, I'm going to go with all durations. And um, I'm going to go with, I think, I've already listened to these, and I'm okay with uh, Swipe C Catwalk. So you can click on the arrow just to listen. If you decide you like it, you click on the download button right here. So I'm just going to download that. It's downloading right now. Okay, if you're on a Chromebook, you'll, you'll see it in your downloads folder. I'm going to go back to Soundtrap and I'm going to X, click on the X here. And over here it says import files. So I'm going to click on that. And oh, I have to drag it onto my desktop first. Or I can just see if it's in my downloads. Is it in my downloads? Let's see if it's in my downloads. It's in my downloads right there. So I'm going to import that. So it's underneath there. Now I think it's going to be too loud. Let's just have a listen. Yeah, it's way too loud. So I'm going to just lower the volume here and let's see how that sounds. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to stop it there. I'm going to right click on the music track and hit split. I'm going to click on that and delete the end of it. Now I'm going to hit edit here because I want to fade out. Okay, so that's ready. I'm going to go ahead and uh, file and export. So this is going to, you can export it as an mp3 file. I need to save it first. So save. And now I can export it. So file, export as an mp3 file. Okay, so it is on the server, so I'm gonna have to wait a bit until that's ready. Okay, so now that it's exported, I can see it's in my downloads folder here. But I'm gonna go to my drive, because I wanna upload it to my drive. I'm just going to drag it right from my downloads folder. It's called Sylvia's Song. And I'm going to put it right into my drive. 
So it's uploaded. Okay, I'll update existing. I've already done this before. So here it is down here. I'm going to click on it. Okay, so I want to make sure that uh, people can listen to it. So I'm going to go in more actions and I'm going to go share and copy link. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my tour of my neighborhood and I'm going to add the song file. I'm going to double click at the very bottom. I'm going to go with Hmm, let's try embed by URL and insert. And there's the sound file right there. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm going to make it narrower. I'm going to make it narrower. Okay. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, and then I'm going to just drag it right up to the top right here and I'm going to add some text to say click here there now I'm going to go publish well, let's just preview it first and let's see if it worked And that worked. So that is how you embed a narration and a music file into your Google site. Thanks for watching.